I'm Emmanuel Onsoro, the CEO of Smartofi Company and the third prize winner of This is Cool Challenge 2022. Our solution is Smart Coaching Monitoring System which measures the temperature, the humidity, the pressure, the particulate matter, uh, uh, matter and the location of cold sensitive goods hereby reducing food wastes, uh, cold sensitive pharmaceutical drug wastes and reducing thefts due to providing location security and uh, monitoring. It does this by updating a user via text and a, a, a dashboard whereby they can monitor or uh, be able to track the movement of uh, code sensitive um, goods while it is being conveyed from one point or one place to another. Being one of the winners of this challenge is currently helping us in our device rebranding, device production and market expansion. Hi, uh, my name is Ronnie Mutua. Um, I am from an organization known as Miti Mitani. Uh, this is a Swahili word for urban forestry. And we were one of the winners last year of the This Is Cool Challenge um, 2022 by SC for All. Um, so today I'll tell you a bit about what our uh, company does and also what the problem we were trying to solve is and also how we've been beneficiaries of this particular award. So just as a start, um, what we do is ecosystem restoration and we marry that with livelihoods creation. So what that means is we are focused on restoring our urban forests across Africa, starting in Nairobi, Kenya, um, and we get youth groups around the area to plant and also watch over the survival of the trees for a two-year period and they are paid money for this so they're able to um, generate revenue or income for their own selves and also for their families. Um, and so one of the one of the challenges of course in cities with regards to heat or heating and cooling is that um, cities are really, uh, you know, we call it the urban heat island effect. So it's a concentration of heat based on just the infrastructure, the structures, um, and also the energy that's produced within cities, whether that's like economic activities like industries or even vehicles on the road. So one of the massive benefits of trees and forests is the ability to actually bring down the temperatures of an area. So that's how our solution is working at um, sustainably cooling our cities. Um, and then in terms of just the benefits of this particular award, so before we got this award from se for all we had a very small pilot of 300 trees split between two youth groups, so 150 each, and there were about 20 to 40 youth that we were working with. After this award, we were able to expand our pilot from 300 trees to 2,000 trees and from two groups to five groups. So today we have a new site where we have 2,000 trees and over 100 youth who are watching over these trees. Um, and maybe just two last things in terms of the benefits of this program. We were also able to use um, the resources from this award to actually do a site mapping exercise. And what that means is essentially go around the areas in Nairobi and figure out if there are other viable sites where we can launch our program. And also if there are youth groups who are already well organized to be able to be absorbed into our program. And then the other last thing that we did is also start engaging our governments or local government authorities in the areas we want to work with just to secure that local government support for the long-term um, viability of our programs um, and work on the ground. Hi, my name is Glorek Silu from Solar Fields. We were the winners of This is School Challenge 2022, whereby we presented at COP27. Our solution is we provide cold storage facilities for smallholder farmers, thereby helping reduce post-harvest losses. Our new innovation uses forced air cooling system that is much faster much cooler and more sustainable and this was the innovation that we presented with the support from sustainable energy for all we were able to tap into their networks that we are still maximizing we were able also to use the resources given to us to have more impact within the communities that we operate in thank you